So I use dish soap here because it breaks down the oils and the dirt really well. I know some people use a laundry detergent. I've just found that dish liquid works the best. And I also, yeah, I poked myself a few times already, but um, I do use my hands to wash the quills. If you use any sort of instrument, anything like a spoon or whatever, you could possibly damage the quills and if they're damaged they once the dye process is done it will it'll create like a little pocket inside the quill and they just it renders them basically useless so you really want to when you're cleaning them be as gentle as you possibly can because first you don't want to get your quill jammed in your uh, fingers but also because you want to really keep the quills from getting damaged For the dye, I use Rit. It really works great, and I think I want to try and do a lighter green or olive green, so I'll just mix probably like three quarters of the bag of the dark green. Ooh. And then probably a half of the yellow. And then you want to turn the heat to really low. It's important that the the dye or the liquid does not boil. If it gets to that point you're going to burn your quills and it'll render them completely useless. Um, if you overcook them they become hollow and they're just, you can't use them. So even before that starts to get hot, um, you'll need to mix it up. You can feel the bottom kind of when it's all um, mixed in and there's no granules of color left. So you can add your freshly cleaned damp quills right straight into it. And just really, you gotta be really careful and be real gentle. Because at this point, they're softened from the cleaning. And you don't want to do the same here. You don't want to bend them or crack them while they're being dyed. very very low heating it because this should only take between 15 and 20 minutes to die I'm 
try to submerge them the best you can and probably every five minutes try to flip them so that they get a consistent color on all of them. So I'll let that sit for a bit. So after, yep, 20 minutes exactly, I turn off the heat and I have the exact color that I was going for. Very olivey, earthy, um, just a really good old looking green. Now it's time to rinse and a lot of rinsing we must do. So next you'll want a baking sheet. I mean, you don't have to, but um, I like to use a baking sheet and then put a couple layers of um, paper towels down and then go ahead and spread out the quills so they can dry overnight. And then I will show you how to quickly sort these out uh, for size. When you want to sort the quills, you're going to need different sized strainers and it's completely uh, personal preference. and. The size of quill you want will determine the size of the screen in your strainer. So you want to start from largest to smallest. So I've got this strainer with a rather large hole and then you just put your quills in and as you can see the quills start to fall through and you just repeat this over and over and over. When the quilts don't go through, that is where you have um, your larger ones. And then you can put those aside and just repeat that over and over and over.
So now here are the larger quills that were left in um, the larger hold strainer. Um, these were too big to go through. So there you have your first size of quills and then you just repeat the process with these ones here with a finer hold strainer. And this is the quickest way that I sort out my quills. You have your larger, medium, and smallest for your really fine quill work.